I'm Holly. And I'm Jess. And we're Lucius. I started talking to the TV. I need a change of scenery. Holly and I, we always loved old recordings from the 60s, Phil Spector, up until, you know, Elliot Smith these doubled vocal recordings. We always just love the sound of that. And when we started writing and singing together, we thought, well, wouldn't it be cool to create that sound, but to actually do it live? Here's two people who have very different voices, but when they get together, they make something that's uniquely their own. It's a, it's a third voice. Skin starvation, even space in. Love doesn't follow the sign of the time. It becomes a tool, the microphone. We have learned how to use it with our voices and move with it to create different dynamics. And if one person is singing a certain part that's stronger in their voice, you learn this rhythm of leaning in and out of the microphone. When we're at home recording our demos, we almost always use these Shure SM7Bs. They're just really good, sturdy microphone that gives us consistent sound. Within songs, there'll be really quiet parts and really loud, belty parts. These microphones are really good at kind of evening those hills and valleys. We actually have very different voices separate of one another. So something like this that really nurtures the voice, regardless of what kind of voice it is, is helpful. If you ask any engineer who uses $20,000 microphones, it's guaranteed that they have a couple of these at home. Turn it to love, turn it to love, turn in the page, turn in the tide, turn it to love, turn it to love. We met the owner of Cloud and he saw us singing together into one microphone and thought that his could do the trick. So he sent us one to play around with and we really loved it. Yeah, I mean, we've used it in the studio and we've used it on tour. So it's a, a flexible figure eight. There's a power in using the same microphone because we're connecting and we're staring into each other's eyes and we're singing actually into each other's voices in a sense. Our two different voices um, complement each other in this way that creates kind of its own entity. And so having one mic sort of amplify that unified voice is a cool thing for us to play with. When the walls close around me, that is where I found your love. Couldn't have imagined, never could have dreamed this up. This here is our KU-100 binaural Neumann microphone. We use him to create a very immersive experience in the studio. When you sing into his left ear, la, <laughs> or his right ear, la, it sounds like you're hearing somebody singing into your left and right ear. It is a 3D microphone, so we have a lot of fun playing with dimension and dynamics. You can get really close or you can be farther away. For us, sometimes when we have beltier vocals, we'll play with the distance um, or even play with where it's being heard on the head. So from behind, it sounds like someone's behind your head and, you know, obviously on either ear or in front of the face. So we have a lot of fun playing with that and our own dynamics and our voices. When you're singing background vocals, we'll really wrap around his head and even use our voices in different ways to make it feel and sound like there's a group of singers. When the walls close around me, that is where I found your love. Couldn't have imagined, never could have dreamed this up. Turn off the noise. We've just always been fascinated by sound and creating something that's uniquely hours, but also just experimenting and being playful about it. And so we're always trying new things just to see what we can get. Just like different guitars are used for different moods or experiences. Same thing holds true for microphone. When the walls close around me, that is 
where I found your love Couldn't have imagined, never could have dreamed this up Some of the things that have happened in our career, whether it's singing with Roger Waters and doing the Pink Floyd tours or singing with Mavis Staples or singing with Harry Styles or whatever. I mean, all these different amazing opportunities that we've been a part of. And then also being able to maintain our band zone career at the same time has proven to us that anything's possible. This downtime, this moment where we're not able to tour has really offered us a moment to reflect. We've written more than we ever have in our entire career. We can't tour and we can't leave. <laughs> and so we started writing with other writers through Zoom, which was really interesting because we hadn't written with other writers before. And one of the writers that we had been working with and, and are still working with is Lori McKenna. And we talk a lot at the beginning of the sessions about what's going on in life and how we're dealing with uh, quarantine and, and everything else. And we started talking about, you know, just having these heavy feelings about um, the state of things and how can we turn that into something positive. And that's how we started uh, the song Turn Into Love. The beginning of it starts off talking about having a conversation with your television because you have no one else to talk to and continuing on into, you know, feeling this, this heaviness and wanting to just make something good with it. And that's what we've been trying to focus on, you know, throughout this. Turn off the noise. I make music because there isn't really another choice. And I make music because I would feel lost without it. It connects us to each other and to the world. Turn 